Now, can I go to M-Pesa, which obviously has been this fantastic mobile money story. It's practically rebranded Kenya. You know, when I go around parts of the world, you know, it's sort of elephants or lions and M-Pesa. It's quite incredible. And marathon runners. Yes, that too, of course. And, uh, it, you know, it's sort of brought some sexiness to the Kenya brand. I think you should, Brand Kenya should be uh, giving you something for that. But, you know, going great guns, um, it's grown exponentially in point of fact. I mean, last, I think the last full year results, we were talking revenues up 21.61% at 26.56 billion, which is nearly $300 million or thereabouts. Obviously, everyone is talking about Equity Bank, their mobile money offering. How do you characterize the space? I mean, I know it's fluid. Uh, what, 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 in your view? Hmm. Underexploited. Underexploited. Underexploited is how I'd characterize it. Uh, you know, more than 90% of transactions are currently cash. Yes. <laughs> I saw that. You said that one day. I was astonished. And, and therefore, there's all that market to go for. So I, I, you know, I keep saying I think the market is plenty big enough. Yes. And um, with an innovative approach, then I think uh, you know, new players can easily come into this market and take a slice of that market. Our share of the market, of course, will shrink over yes. time. But then the market will grow. But you're saying much the pie is getting bigger. The pie will get much bigger. Mm. So I think, uh, look, and Pesos is, is really entrenched in, yes. in uh, Kenyan society. So that's not something to worry about. But I think commentators from outside have kind of viewed this thing in a more of an alarmist way than no, they look, should do. It's very binary, you know, a one winner, one loser. And I think yeah, there was an article in The Economist which said as much. And then I, I think the market is, is, is big enough for several players, not just, yes. not just two players. It's just that people haven't been very good in coming into the market so far. And people believe that by throwing free transaction will make a difference. Well, you know, we've been running with free transaction as a competitor now for more than a year, mm. and it's made no difference. I think M-Pesa's still taking 90, I think it's 98% of, 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 of the mobile. All mobile money. Yes. Uh, that's not sustainable in the long run. I mean, mm. it, you can't continue like that. And so I think new players coming in and, and you're expanding. I saw there was a, there was a, a, a Business Daily wrote yesterday about Lipa Nampesa, and you're saying you're expanding. You would receipt people. I think it was it was more embedded in the sort yes. of payment system. How would you characterize what you're doing with Mpesa at the moment? So you know we, we've often said that Mpesa is not a banking product. Yes. It supplements and complements banking products, which we've done with KCB and with CBA. Um, but in itself, is a payment product. And therein lies the opportunity. Now, government and the NGSA have said that they want to get cash out of the, um, the public service vehicles uh, for all sorts of reasons. And if you get cash out, then there's another opportunity for M-Pesa, together with other payment mechanisms. Um, and we've seen other people kind of come and go, and you know we've, we've seen people experiment with Beba Pay, for example. Yes. Um, but all of those things will come right in, in time, and that's just one example. That's just the, the, the PSV sector, government payments, mm. revenue collection, um, ordinary uh, merchant transaction. But by merchant transaction, I mean going and buying. Yes. Uh, you know, a kilogram of, of unga, um, you can pay. Have we seen significant growth in that area? We've seen. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously the, the timing of this interview is not, no, is not the best that, because of anyway, the, it's rather the happy actually the timing. But we can come back, <laughs> we certainly can come back in six weeks and like take a, a closer look at those numbers. Um, but uh, what I can say is that um, Lipa Nampesa is taking more, you know, Lipa Nampesa, which is the, the merchant payment system, is taking more than 50% of all the, um, the electronic payments in the country today. Already? So if you look at the statistics reported by um, Central Bank, yes. you can see what the banks are doing in electronic yes. payments. Yes. And then we know what we're doing. So we're doing more than 50% of that. And uh, good, yes, but you know, at half year, I think mm -hmm. we said we had already signed up some 110, 120,000 merchants. Mm -hmm. And our trick was now to get more of those merchants using it. And so the ones who are using it have grown how much they're using yes. per day. And then we are constantly activating the the uh, the dormant, the dormant ones. But you, you know, I mean, I was I was shopping at the weekend uh, last weekend, um, and I went to, and I bought an item of furniture, mm. and it was seven to thousand shillings, and you pay by Nippon and Pesa. 
Similarly, you know, if we go have yes. uh, lunch on Sundays, we yes. pay the restaurant by Lipan and Pesa. So it is, it is kind of Deeply ubiquitous. But also Kenya is moving towards this cash mm. light yes. approach. One, because it gets rid of a lot of corruption, mm. particularly in terms of revenue collection. So if you want to collect car parking fees, if you want to collect uh, license fees. I noticed fees, that there's a city council looking yeah. to do that. Yeah, and, and there you see lots of people coming into this, into this space. So yes. um, the space wasn't designed just for Safaricom. Mm. It was designed for mobile money. W what about this area, you know, for, for this I intersection point between telecoms and banking? I mean, why aren't you telling me, Ali Khan, I'm going to open a bank now, for example? Um, for a few reasons. Yes. The biggest reason is because I know nothing about banking. Yes. And I don't have anybody, well, actually, I do have yeah. <laughs> Robert Ochoa, who used to be a banker, but um, I don't have a management team that knows anything about banking. I do have a management team that know quite a lot about telecom. Of course. And um, because they, you know, they run the biggest telecom company in, um, in the region, mm -hmm. you know, not just in Kenya. So why would I distract them from running a solid telecoms company to start to become a bank. Especially, why would I do that when I have good solid banks with whom yes. I can work? I have worked with CBA yes. since, um, since we launched M-Pesa, mm. so seven years ago. And they have been a good solid partner. They've grown us to where we are today. We have now um, announced the partnership with KCB. Yes. And um, that partnership has massive, massive potential, mm. not least because the two companies, our vision and our purpose is yes. very much aligned. If yes. you listen to Joshua talk about what KCB wants to do, you know, he uses the phrase, we will transform the nation. Mm. If you listen to a Safaricom person yes, speak, we say we, want, we will transform lives. And so when these two things come together, you can see how we want to make a big difference mm. to the, um, the small and medium and the micro size industries. Why? Because 40% of the country's GDP is generated by that sector. Yes. But what challenges do they have? They have a challenge around access to affordable financing, because that can be quite tough. I was speaking with an SME yesterday who, you know, she said to me she's paying 22% yes. cost of finance. Mm. It's silly. Yes. <laughs> access to, they don't even know what ICT solutions they can, they can have. So we can say to them, you know, let us help you to build a website. Mm. Let us help you to manage your, um, your payroll yes. on a cloud. Mm. You don't even need to know what a cloud is. We'll yes. manage your payroll for yes. you. Let us give you some accounting software, which if you bought it yourself, number one, you, know, you just need to focus on what you're doing mm. with your core business, not yes. trying to run. Um, and how's the take up been? Because it wasn't too long ago that I went to the launch. I think we're talking about eight, ten weeks ago, not more than that. Yeah, I think it was in July. Yeah. Um, it's, it's going very well. Yes. It's going very well. Um, the two teams do need to, to, mm. to learn to work together because they're kind of cross-selling. Yeah. And, um, but we've got a lot more to announce. You know, mm. there, there's, there's things in the pipeline. Obviously, we didn't announce a partnership without having stuff in the pipeline. So we have things which we will be announcing in the coming, um, in the coming months. But the, uh, I'm very pleased with how the two teams are working. Um, you know, Ogara and I have a kind of common vision. Yes. Uh, I think we have a well, similar I think you're both collaborators. Then. We have very similar management yes. styles mm. as, as well. So we believe in the power of collaboration. Uh, and we ultimately believe in that thing, which is how do we transform our country? Yeah. How do we move our country into a proper middle income? Mm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, you saw the news today, yeah. didn't you? Um, uh, <laughs> did you have any more money in your pocket yesterday? No, that's what the, I said. It's no silver bullet. It's no, so, but, but so we know a number of the things which need to be done we know that access to affordable capital is really, really important. Mm. Access to ICT as an enabler is really, really important. And so there's no need for me to become a bank. Mm. I have, you know, KCB mm. is the biggest bank around. I have very solid partners to get me there. And, and I guess, you know, from his perspective, yes. um, both Isaac, uh, Jeremy and, um, and Joshua, yes. they see there's no need for them to become a telco because they can partner with us to, uh, to do that.